Many rural areas have recently experienced prolonged rainfall, overland flows or rivers bursting their banks. In this video, I'm going to discuss what happens to the soil when these events occur and how Natrimin can help in the restoration and recovery process, bringing life back into your soil. Hi, I'm Shannon Godwin from Ag Solutions Australia. When soil becomes oversaturated, the result is a reduction of oxygen capacity due to insufficient space in the soil profile. This oxygen deprivation is detrimental to soil health because just like humans and animals, plants and some soil microbes require oxygen for respiration and can only survive for a short period without it. The duration and velocity of water inundation determines the impact on plant life and soil structure. In addition to impacting crop and pasture growth, water logging also affects soil by causing the loss of topsoil, increasing compaction, increasing soil salinity, dramatically changing soil biology, all by the deposition of low nutrient, poorly structured flood silt. Under normal conditions, the soil is home to billions of aerobic soil microbes that require oxygen to survive. However, when soil becomes waterlogged, these microbes die off and anaerobic soil microbes flourish as they survive without oxygen. This changing population of soil microbes can affect plant availability of some soil nutrients, making them unavailable to the plant and in some circumstances, they can even convert it into harmful, toxic gas. Sulphur exemplifies this conversion process, where its notorious post-flood smell is caused by the conversion from sulphur into hydrogen sulphide. Nitrogen is another nutrient that can also be made unavailable via the denitrification process. The biological aspect of soil fertility is critical to recovery as it is often a limiting factor for crop and pasture growth. However, the importance of microbial activity can often be underestimated. The biomass of microbes in healthy living soil can amount to four to five tonne per hectare. So looking after soil biology should be a priority. Some of the important functions of soil microbes include fixing nitrogen from the air, increasing nutrient availability to the plant, improving soil structure, decomposing organic matter for humus production, and assisting in disease suppression and protection. Future crops can also be impacted by floods, where the availability of mobile nutrients like nitrogen and sulfur, and immobile nutrients such as phosphorus, potassium, and a lot of the trace elements, are reduced or lost due to topsoil and organic matter being washed away. So, to help restore soil health, plant a crop or pasture seed as soon as possible. In addition to applying animal manure, composts and mineral fertilisers will also assist in the restoration of depleted organic matter. Natrimin mineral fertiliser and soil conditioners have been used successfully after previous environmental events as an effective soil amendment to assist the regeneration of flood affected soils. Natrimin helps replenish essential macro and trace elements and is formulated to help rebuild humus levels by stimulating the soil biology creating a sponge-like structure to assist in improving both moisture holding capacity during dry periods and draining during wet periods. If you have time prior to planting, it is recommended to do a soil test as this is the best way to get a snapshot of the remaining soil nutrition and any underlying factors that contribute to soil structure problems. Soil testing also provides a basis for developing a longer term soil management plan to help bring life back to unhealthy soils. If you would like more information on Natrimin or would like to arrange a soil test, 
contact us via our website agsolutions.com.au. Follow our social media platforms or call us on 1800 81 57 57. And don't forget to ask for Natrimin mineral fertiliser and soil conditioners from your preferred store.